So another uh, episode of Chronic Club. We've got uh, Steve Kaminsky from Baked and Awake. We've got Miggy420 uh, from Cannabis Legalization News. I'm Josh Kincaid with the Talking Hedge. So we have uh, Sun Growers Cup in Washington State. We um, it's already over. They don't know who the winners are. They have no idea what's in here. They've all been labeled like this one, THC3. No idea what's inside here yet. I do. Ooh, you might. If you stay long enough, you'll know. All right, so with that, we're going to start with THC1. We're going to go through all the way through THC10. Um, we'll hit a CBD pen at one point, clean the palate. <laughs> the mental palate? Yeah. Uh, and we're going to um, we're going to judge this. So we're going to start with, uh, you know, a, we can't really do appearance, right? Nah. Well, you do viscosity, how it looks, and oil and shit. Is it a clean? Is it bubbles? Did you rip that seed in? Yeah. Okay. And uh, on this unit, I press the button. Yeah. And pull. On All the right. solid gold it's unit. It's been a while there. since I've used a pen, so I'm kind of excited, oddly excited, right to uh, vape uh, this form right now. So here we go. Always wonder if I got it the first time. Mm -hmm. Did I warm it up enough yet? so funny like what we're doing here like if you, what you just had in your bag is like a nightmare in Alabama to some people you know it's like scary to them it's like yeah well when the first time I saw a dabbers in like 2015 it, the ritual of getting a torch and lighting this glass piece and hitting it is really no different visually from someone lighting a crack pipe yeah yeah it, the, yeah. that ritual of getting everything going and you got this goopy like syrupy concentrated it's just not a natural visual experience for most people no right. and sure you call those battery is going oh really yeah oh it could be the cart okay take it out put it back um let's see how do you on that guy yeah because see that mm-hmm like it's, oh, it's, it's off it's skew. It's, it's off centered. Oh wow. So it's it, askew. See that's one of the problems with carts though. Yep. Like, like they get those uh, batches of China know, carts. Not tough enough. You want something? Uh, or like a pick? I don't know. Or, so we'll just try it one more time and if not we'll kick it to the back and, there we and, go. and try something else. We'll just but, talk shit about them buying bad carts. <laughs> it's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, so there was another cart in here where I, I took the plastic, uh, this rubber cap off, yeah. and it was goopy. Oh and my like, god! What, you know, like am I supposed to like drill that, like screw that into my my pen and right? hit that? Like, yeah. why is it leaking? Yeah, and it's like more product you're not even hitting. Like, like it's 2021, man. Like these are issues you should have had in 2015, and you're submitting it to be judged. Oh my god! Come on. So these are all from the judging. These are all from the Washington State Sun Growers Cup, so outdoor uh, companies that have vape products will be judging them all, assuming that they work. So it sucks, so you can get all the hard work of having a good plant, but then you buy shitty fucking China vapes, and now now your product just looks like shit. Right. Yeah, that's, that's a sad thing. Steve's getting nothing, so on to the, the next one. one. <laughs> one. Yeah. Man down. All right. Sorry, THC one. I'd love to know how how you are in there. Yeah, it's vis visibly off, super off wow. underneath there. It's right. Too bad. By American. Well, so this <laughs> unfortunately THC two looks a lot like THC one. We're on the oh, bottom. Yeah, big time. Um, are any of those companies in America? The cartridge no. companies. Okay, I wait. This it. one looks like it's got a little give to it. So let's see. Let's try it out. Let's see. Oh, you're, this is horrible. It's not a good start. Okay, so it's just like a battery down there. But it's the consistency. To, yeah, yeah. It just wants to make contact with that. It doesn't have to be. I mystify how they work sometimes, though, because I have one that they, they look like it's a hole, but there's no connection. Something in a, there's an open definitely going on sometimes. I guarantee you've never heard of the farm that made THC1. No. No. And this is why. <laughs> uh, but THC2 is, is very well known. Okay. And they're having the same issue. Yeah. Yeah, he's got it. Okay. I detect concentrate. <laughs> concentrate <laughs> is good. Nice. Um, 
So for fragrance, I gave these guys a 0.3. I was very, very harsh on this on oh. scoring these. I thought the fragrance was, was very minimal. I didn't taste anything. I gave them a 0.3. Well, yeah. I won't tell you guys. I don't want to skew your judgment. So you think this one's, so this one's a big boy, though, huh? Give me a one last Yeah, time. yeah, go for it. Touch of it and see. It, there's there's still, plenty of I'm it in there. I'm still not sure it's hitting right. No, you should have a cloud. Are you making mist? Yeah. There should be a fat cloud if you're... Or you could be just it. inhaling the terpenes through, like, a hole in there. Like, this is the problem with these cartridges, because they're all buried. They're all uh -huh. so different. All right. Um, it's like it. It's like it was trying to go. This one should definitely work. Okay. So we're gonna move on to, to THC number three because the first two not working. Malfunction. All right. So I like flour, but don't fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, like this is six years. <laughs> these companies have had an yeah. opportunity to figure this out, and I think it's insane that they haven't. It's just not. It doesn't work every single time, and the vape batteries like they need to also oh my God, yes. improve those yeah. Because yeah the reason why i don't have one right now is because they all just slowly fail on you they're terrible yeah. there's carcasses in there you yeah. know of them well so. the companies just come and go so fast that no one establishes good tech that stays for a while yeah. Yeah. well they're not like you know if vuber vape was in Burien, i would buy one yeah um but they're not they're not where i go yeah you yeah. know so but like Vubers are cool because like you put the concentrate and it'll heat up like that way. You can do like a it's like a portable dab. But like these guys with the cartridges when you get the pre That's just one model yeah. of Vuber. They have the old school pen, like the straight straight pen vapes. Oh we got it. They've got nice. these little palm styles. Vuber has oh, a there you go. different choo, choo. few styles, but they don't they're not big enough to have the distribution and a lot of that comes from capital to yeah. be able to have enough inventory to be everywhere. That's convenient price and convenience that's how we make our purchasing decisions plus right? they can probably expand too fast right you think like because they already got a, this is part of the problem too you, if you try and expand too fast now you're sometimes you're like with cookies when you have super shit with that burner shit i think some of these guys because i saw uh Vuber at one of those pitch events uh they were asking for five million yeah and i was like what? well i know they got involved with an investor and the investor was terrible and so it took about a year for him to pay the investor off and then find new investors oh, so that shit. can that can really screw with the, how you deal with people yeah having bad experiences and bad swapping partners. that for you Mick. Well, you have oh, swabs you, as well over there yep. too okay so yeah well the money right it's all about money so thc uh three, three. right what about uh so are you able to tell us about fragrance yeah so um Again, as always, not a. Uh, I don't have the most verbose palate in terms of uh, interpreting the flavors, but I tasted a citrus note. Um, a lot of concentrates that I've had in pens over the years do seem to favor that uh, top note somehow. Magically, it, it seems to be the dominant uh, experience that I have with the vapes I choose, but I like it. Uh, that said, um, it's been a while since I've had a, a vape, so, um, you know, it, it tasted super pleasant uh, to me. When when your pen does work and when it hits, you know, <laughs> you're like, yeah, this is the technology. This is it yeah. right here, you know. Uh, there's nothing quite like being able to pull that ninja out of your oh, pocket yeah. and take a little toke while you're walking to the movies or whatever, you know, on your way from <coughs> here to there. Uh and uh, you know, there's nothing more slick than that. So, it's a good quick hit when you know uh, you taste best. it. It's yeah. the best, yeah. Um, and uh, nobody, you know, if they didn't see you take the puff, they you didn't take a puff. I mean, know, so. the nice thing about pens is convenient. Like you could be hiding anywhere and just. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not even like so much hiding. It's just the discretion is three. glorious. So that was three. Do you need more of the three? No, that's great. Let's you keep did. it moving. <laughs> yeah. like, well, let's let's uh, rate these real quick. Yeah, absolutely. So fragrance. What are you going to rate these? Full point. Full point. Full point for three. Miggy. Yeah, full point. It's not bad. How about taste? But yeah, again, I would go full point right now. I have a you know a clean yeah feeling, um, and probably would work all day as the cart you know that oh, I'm yeah. rocking with. For the was day. it smooth? I didn't notice you guys coughing up a lung. I didn't Definitely. cough. I managed yeah. not to, even though uh, I haven't hit one in a minute. And you can, you can get like there's that razor's edge where a good little vape puff can then take you to your knees, <laughs> you know, accidentally. Doesn't that feel like a sativa too? Like I feel a little more. 
uppity because sometimes when you're smoking with the mm -hmm. concentrates you can feel it more that's why you smoke anyways mm -hmm. you, you feel it more faster than edibles so. yeah so this is nice about a vape pen is that yeah it's sort of you get it kind of right away yeah it's a nice delivery i could have it in my pocket while i'm doing yard work or whatever you know next to my beer mm -hmm. <laughs> put a point on smoothness yeah yeah all right uh what about the well so effects are kind of hard to because we're gonna be smoking a lot of these so <laughs> you guys don't have that opportunity i've, I've judged it before mm -hmm. and was able to give the effects overall what would you judge it oh i recommend it it's good good tasting i mean if it was one of those like uh what do they average like 10 to 15 dollars for a cartridge like that uh they those carts can be as much as 60 dollars oh, okay yeah. was well, that a gram full then yeah yeah see it's, it's been a while since i bought fuck carts so yeah know. So if I, if I, yeah, I mean, like, if I did, if a pen was my thing, or I was going on a road trip, I wouldn't be mad if I, that was what I had with me in, like, Montana and other states where I can't buy weed right away. Right. You know, Alabama. Is that full point? <laughs> yeah, full point. Full point. Full point for Steve, too. All right, so that's a 59% for Canna Organics. It was the uh, or oh, okay. Orange Zots. Mm. So you said citrus. There you go. And that's what it was from. So Can Organics, pretty big. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty I've big their, company. Seen their uh, flower. Definitely picked up. Uh, yeah. So I felt like it was a nice calm high, like behind the eyes. Faded kind of quick though, and left a monstrous dry throat and cotton mouth. Oh. So that yeah. was my that was my experience. Um, well, with the flower we just had and the water we we're drinking and everything, I'm feeling pretty good overall. Thank you. All right, we're moving on to, um, you're asking what we got. We got THC number four. All right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> There's 10 yeah, in total, right? Four. There's 10 plus a CBD. Okay. Who was that's so he can absolve himself of any So we're going to we're gonna have to fly through some of these again. It's going to be fragrance, taste, and then it, is it smooth, um, and then overall. You're done. Yeah, I'm going to give it a full point for you guys on effect because you can't really judge it one way or the other. Yeah, I mean... Like, Unless it's, like, terrible. Yeah. Then, then you can rip them there. Uh, let's see. Oh, what were, who were the first two? Um, I can't tell you yet because we're going to try to go back to it. All right. Um, and if they don't work... I'll get you shit about them. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah. Uh, I will say one of them is Canna Organics, though. Oh, okay. So they're one of them worked and one of them didn't. Okay, huh? That's what sucks about these batches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gotta be an American company to for, you know, these guys. I know a lot of stores have a, like if you save the receipt because it's known failures of these fucking things. If you have something so well failure rate that's so high, you should at one point be like, you know what? Maybe I should create that company. You know. Yep. Made in America. That we can create good ingenuity and good reliability. Yeah, you know, um, so Michael was talking about this Kung Fu vape, $350 for a vape oh, shit. Uh, pen. And I was like, damn, but it's huge. It's a big piece. I can't just oh stick it God. in my pocket, you know. But Why? I would pay money for something that was going to last me years and be reliable, yeah. dependable, and, and ev all that stuff. Like, yeah. If Apple came out with a vaporizer and it was dope, oh. I don't mind saving and spending the money for something that's going to work because like you... Man, I'll settle yeah. for a Con Air. You I know what I mean? I don't even, even need it to be shishi like that, right? But I don't want great, a carcass you know? of, of 20 yeah. units that break all the time and then when I need it, I'm in a spot where I can't have it, you know, not necessarily Montana or whatever, but yeah. like wherever I'm at, I'm, I want it to work. Hmm. Yeah, instant pot. Make yeah. us a vape, y'all. You guys can make a nice vape. So, fragrance and taste, Steve, where are you at? Very, actually so interesting, it was a little bit different than the last one. Um, more subdued, uh, a little bit more, uh, like, I don't want to say, like, nutty or, <coughs> or spicy or something like that, but it was, um, like, N into Nutella? that or down that line. I don't know, I didn't really pick up a metallic note case but uh it you know it lacked the citrus that the last one that number three did for example um was absent uh so yeah i, I would say a little bit more subtle of a vape a little less obvious of a flavor maybe some <coughs> people would prefer that sometimes to something that <coughs> fruity or so 
That's giving me that dab cough. Doesn't right? have the the smoothness. It is. So is that a uh, is that a full point for fragrance and taste? No, I'd say more like half point. Okay. On that. And Miggy, fragrance yeah, and taste. I didn't notice any chirping. Like I really had to suck it in, there you and go. then what I felt was a cloud of smoke in my fucking lungs. There you go. And then the lungs saying, <laughs> so half point. Yep. And it wasn't very smooth. No. Is that another half point? Yeah. Steve? I guess I didn't cough either. Um, I didn't... I, of course, I'm never trying to hit it so hard that I'm going to cough and die mm. either. I'm trying to, you know, tread that line. Uh, so, three quarters of a point? Yeah. You know. For me, it was um, heavy on the lipids. Like, I felt a lot of, like, waxy lipids. Mm. Um, but the high was a cer cerebral high for me. Um... Uh, but I gave it a 0. 0.6 overall. Um, <laughs> some kind of earthy flavor to it. And, um, it's just pretty consistent. Yeah, but I don't like the lipid, you know, like fatty, waxy kind of taste with it. So oh, yeah, yeah. Not my thing. 0. 0.6 for me overall. Which one of these won? I'll tell you. Okay. Don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah, I know. What you got? It's a What's your overall? Well, that was a half point. Half point. Yeah. I would say overall, I would say three quarters of a point. Right. Stony. I can I can feel it. So uh forty seven percent for Zuby Doobies Afghani Kush. Forty seven percent. Zuby Doobies Afghani Kush was was alright. Hmm. That's a childish shit though, man. But you <laughs> Zuby Doobies. Yeah. It was like it's like that when the IHOP had those commercials for can I have a tutti fruity, fresh and fruity? And you're gonna walk in as a grown man be like, Can I have a Zuby Doobies? Right, <laughs> two Yeah, I would have trouble asking for it by name. Wait, that one. You whispered. Here's the like, picture I, I took of it on the <laughs> shelf. Here you go. Just get me that. Sure. All right, on to that THC number five. Number five is alive. Number five. Johnny five. Do not disassemble. I'm surprised they haven't made a remake of. Yeah. Oh my God! What was that short called? circuit. Short circuit. Yeah, oh. I would. Uh, I would watch a short circuit. Shit, classic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I watched that a lot when I was a kid. Maybe it's too real with AI now, and they're just like, nope, can't do it. Oh, uh, he's so tight though. Man. But you know what? They did just stole his whole aesthetic with Wally. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, number five. Wally was very. Wally's too five, real. Man. If you ever watch it, I mean. Yeah. It's, 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 it's all in the future. Movie. It's all just fat Americans and fucking little floating cars. That's the whole kind of premise behind Wally. Me and my wife Spoiler just alert! Talking yeah. If you yeah. haven't seen Wally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, by the way, yes. <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet. Between that and idiocracy, like, it's Oh, my real. God. Yeah. All right, THC number, THC number five. THC number five. Number five. Nice. You know what, though? I want to embody the fatness. I'm trying to uh -huh. I'm trying to be the cellulite-type amoeba. I mean, I've reached perfection of laziness. But because I have to buy things... <laughs> I got a dud. My. I'm dud and over here. No! Do you think, so you took all hits off of these though, so it's like a one use type thing then? What's going on with these guys? They, they all work for me at least once. Okay. Um, but yeah. that's the problem. But is, did you also have malfunctions with some of them as well? I don't, subsequently I don't, or no? I don't recall. Well, okay. subsequently, yes. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. They work for me the first time and then and then stuff happens. Wow. I'm just trying to reset this contact. I mean, I really wonder, I'm mean, just amazing the shit they make in China, dude. Like, if you if you ever see a uh, uh, IC where they make electronic components, it's so dangerous and toxic and the mm -hmm. chemicals. Mm -hmm. But the coolest products come out, like my drone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, or you know. I mean, I couldn't make any of this. No, but I mean, you can make shit small enough to embed in that thing to connect to Wi-Fi somehow. Like, you know, it's just different ways to do things all the time, man. Well, as we were discussing earlier, you know. Everything's more connected than yeah. you think, and the technology involved is a lot of like really fundamental stuff that's been in use since day one. Seriously, and it underpins everything, and by that I mean radio. Everything is radio yep. almost. Yep. Uh, Wi-Fi being disguised radio, you know, almost your cell phones, radios. Well, it's all you know, RF. So, RF exactly. is like RF. So, um, so yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> It's fun. It's fun stuff. It's interesting. Yeah. But it makes you wonder. 
But like, I got like you got your radio. I got walkies at home. Mm-hmm. I love walkies. Mm-hmm. We uh, drove cross country uh, from. Uh, 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 fuck, where we're coming from. Uh, I bet we can get each other on FRS from here from oh, each other's house. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta find them. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, and I got a CB too. We could t- we could play radios anytime. I got I toys. I love uh, I love our FRSs. I send the kids out with them. It's perfect. Oh, right on. We let them go up the block and out of eye shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they never, they never stop talking to me anyway. So they use it the whole <laughs> it's time. It's a fun game too. Like, like, what do you see? Yep, exactly. That's like, it. They're reporting for me. Yep. They're my eyes out there. Exactly. Great. See, you got minions. You're like little spies and shit. Exactly. Like, oh, the old lady's back from the store. <laughs> Dad, oh shit! I just realized what's in the background. That's beautiful. Little <laughs> <Yeah, just little laughs> house plant. We've some, been here a while. Getting yeah. some. Getting some sun. <laughs> what did I get here? <laughs> Some good weed. <laughs> All right, THC six. Right on. Right. Fragrance and taste. Let's hope this works. I heard that pop. I know it's working. Oh yeah, I love that little like it gets hot and then melts the. Uh... It's kind of like that first like pee in the morning, you know? Like, oh Jesus, it's gonna work. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it was a floral. What are you yeah. tasting? Zesty. Um, I got you. You're looking at my face. So I didn't. I didn't take a huge hit, uh, but it got me in the nose in that way. Oh, it sometimes will. Yeah. And the dabs don't really do to me the same way at all. And, and that's one of my other favorite modes. Is you know just simple dabs. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, for my concentrates. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So. No citrus, a little, 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 a bit. Uh, less orange this time, but more lemon. And that's as far as I'll go. I won't get all uh, super verbose with it. But yeah, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of uh, lemon zest, because I got it in the eyes and the nose. Uh, it tasted great. So yeah, Whew. making my nose run. <laughs> all right. Great. Fragrance and taste, is that a full point? For yeah, I'll give them a full point. Yeah, I would be. What I about like smoothness? Whew. You gotta watch this one, boy. It's got Steve in the sinuses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So three quarters. It's a it's a nose clearer. Yeah. So if that's what you're looking for, it's gonna do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah. And overall, what do you want to give him? Full point. Full point overall. Yeah, for the most part. All right. I wouldn't take take much off of him. I. I uh, we're pretty blind on it. The, it looks like a good caramel honey uh, color. There you go. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say no cough must be a full point, but there we go. No, but it wasn't a bad cough. Right. Right. Yeah, sometimes you just get enough <coughs> that it's gonna you're gonna cough. It's unavoidable. Especially all the weed we were smoking just now. Like it's getting drier in there, and I'm not as mad as it is. So that wasn't like a oh uh, my smoke made you cough. That was like oh you took it all the way in, bitch. And then mm. I'm letting some out. Well, oh, you good. went with uh, fragrance and taste, and that's what it was like that flavor like so the last one when I coughed it, there, there was like no taste it was just like inhaling smoke but this it had flavor to it so I'll give it a full point terpenes and everything alright and smoothness yeah up there full point it was a good product and where are you at with the overall good point alright I would have that with me well this is oh the Exception, orange Phew. punk horse. Hey, this is pretty contained, luckily. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no, Excuse um, me. Steve is getting excited over the first place winner, oh. which is Puffin Farms Dutch Treat. Nice. Their extra oh, virgin oh, kinkle oil, EVFO. <laughs> it's their own. It's right, a trademark right, that they right, came right. up with. I want to like them, but I heard they're anti homegrow so I can't really... Uh, Puffin nice Farms is anti homegrown. Yeah, they got first place in the homegrown competition. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, this is that's the first place cart like, that we just hit right there. But I mean, like this, this is a, not a homegrown uh, contest, is it? Yeah, I thought it was. Oh a no, 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 not a sun girl. I'm sorry, yeah, my, yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. my bad. Yeah, yeah, no, they're just a homegrown. Of course they are. Yeah, yeah, right. Of course, because they're corporate. Yeah, big yeah. And yeah. They don't, yeah. But still, who's that fucking asshole? I think it was. And I think it's James Lau that testified against. Home grows with the LCB. Somebody who makes seeds was like, I don't think the public is ready enough for. Like, why would you be against home if you make seeds? Like, that just means more market for you. What are you thinking? Yeah. Too many people. Look are at Vancouver, f- BC. Like, they sell a ton of seeds up there. But people are afraid of like just opening up like broccoli and think like there's going to be like this great competition. Either you make good weed or you don't. Yeah. 
That's it, man. If you're afraid of losing business and you're already out of business, you just don't know yet. Dude, I fucking... It's like food. You know, you go to places that you like to eat. I'm going to buy weed. I like to smoke. Yeah, you can't nothing. be afraid of competition. No. All right, moving on to THC number seven. <laughs> nice. Phew. THC right. number seven was... Um, uh, I thought had really good effects. Uh, it had a good flavor and taste. Um, so I rated this one fairly high compared to a lot of the other ones. Nice. Okay, well, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I can eat all those fucking things. Good. Also, <laughs> I'll try to find you something to take with you. No, that's I think cool. I have to little bit more around here. My wife, she scorns at me every time I bring shit in. I love the, um, you guys ever go to Maple Valley? There's that meat shop. It's a butcher's market. And they also have all this fucking farmer's market shit in there. So good. They had, like, pickled eggs with, like, garlic and jalapeno shit. Oh, and then you can buy, like, the fucking elk jerky and shit in there. Mm. Where do I go in Maple Valley? That, uh, the, the Black Diamond Bakery out That's there. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We go on the way to, um, the Green River. Mm-hmm. It's a little, mm-hmm. like, uh, tubing or whatever. It's not, I, love, I love it out here, dude. Any place in an hour, you can go fuck off, and you know, even beer. And I miss beer in because, like, the uh, we used to go to uh, what's that park that has a zip line? A zip line, yeah, Lincoln Park. They got a zip line at Lincoln Park, yeah, it's so awesome, dude. It's like this 20 foot unsafe fucking 1970 zip line that you can still fucking that's cool, yeah. I never saw that at Lincoln, I've been there a few times, dude. Mm-hmm. Take the kids, not, all a, time. not a million times or anything. We should go over there. That's a good idea. I should drag our kids over there. There's so much stuff out here to do. Um. Very subtle, okay. Very, very mellow. Oh, number seven. Um, but um, not without its, not without its charm. Um, yeah, okay. I would say re- really subtle, but hard to hard to know right now if it's not cumulative effects of the different mm. concentrates as to what how one. Each one's hitting me effect wise, so I won't speak. Yeah, to that. no effects yet are too yeah. hard. What about a uh, flavor and yeah. taste? Um, very subtle. I'm not going to say flavor less, um, but it would not leave a, a bad aftertaste in your mouth, or um, I don't think, uh, even if you were sessioning it for a while for all day it's it's that kind of clean mm-hmm. hit so uh possibly a good thing for a lot of folks so um whereas i was hard on another one for being quite flavorless this one has like a a subtle thing that's still pleasant that the yeah. other one lacked okay uh <coughs> like point three here or i think it's a tickle point five no no i'd give it like a Point seven five, you know, almost a full point. You know, it's a, it's a it's a better, clean, you know, low key hit hitter. So it's probably no flavor, strong. no smell. Yeah, right? it's probably strong. Miggy, how's that flavor tasting? Like I say, like, there's no flavor, no smell, but like you're saying, the tickle, like it gives a little, <clears throat> like flavor wise, point five. Just I can't taste nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. But then the experience, as far as like inhaling it and then exhaling it, it, it feels a little. The feeling gives me a little yummy tingliness. So. With- I'm definitely ramping up here. What's the what's the smoothness factor? I think overall, Steve? super smooth, full point. Full point on smoothness. Yeah, it's, what about it's, you? It's man? all about yeah, the point, smooth. Point seven five. Yeah. Okay. I gave him a point eight on smoothness, oh, right on. but I was okay. I was pretty uh, <coughs> pretty hard. And then overall, I gave him a point nine. Where you guys at? Yeah, I'd say maybe. I a thought point seven five. I thought it tasted like blueberries bit. for some reason. Oh, interesting. Hmm. See, I didn't catch that. Did not catch that. Um, <coughs> it's not COVID. A point for uh, overall, or were you? Uh, I think I'm I'm coming in at like, let's call it point eight overall. Point eight for Steve, and where's Miggy at? I'm at point eight two. Point eight two. No, just point eight. Point oh, <laughs> eight also. As well. As well. I was like, there this guy's go. going for <laughs> remainder two. I want to hit that fucking third decimal, guy. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So we did. <laughs> We gave the third place overall winner of the oh, Washington wow. State Sun Growers Cup a 60%. So, third place overall winner is Acme Diesel. That is the brand that I've never heard of. Hmm. And this is DJ Short Blueberry. So, I actually fucking nailed the, <coughs> the flavor. Right on. Huh. 
Wow. Acme. Like, what's the, what's the package look like? Like fucking Bugs Bunny and no shit. No idea. Bro. Oh, oh I don't a, know. Yeah. Um, I mean, so you're missing out. If it is. Yeah, I didn't detect the blueberry that I would have wanted to if I was buying that for the DJ shorts, especially because he's you know that's a well known Northwest. Yeah. Favorite, it's a strain from around here. That, oh, that I didn't person he was is still, local. yeah, and they're still doing their thing, if I'm not mistaken. A little bit. Well, who's the DJ one that passed Short's away? Still... Did they keep? He's somebody is, passed did away. Did DJ Short pass away? I think so. He was no. sick away. I want to say there's a son though of him, a oh, second yeah. generation. Well, somebody took over his garden, his grower. Instagram, and all that shit. All right, you're up on okay. uh, number eight. Yeah, already. All right, I'm stealing myself for this. Get up there. Yeah. Well, we've got a few more to go. <laughs> this is a marathon. Actually, yeah. a sprint. Well, I gotta, yeah. I gotta get an oil change here a little bit, so it'll be cool to show up all high and just zone out while yeah. they do it. Well, you're smoking a lot of oil to get your oil changed. This seems right. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put on the headphones, sit in the lobby, and call it good yeah. with a mask on and sleep. Okay. It's hard work, man, but somebody's got to do this. God damn it, you know. Gotta use my 10 free oil changes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Getting old, dude. My last car couldn't even fit underneath it. I was like, what the fuck is this world? Like, <laughs> it was this low off the ground. I'm like, why? Why? And then there's no place, a good, good place to put a jack. And you know what I hate doing? My grandfather was good at it the ramps. You ever, you ever do ramps? Put yeah. your car up on ramps? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, dude. My ass puckers. And I just get nervous. Mm -hmm. I just I just hate it, dude. Like, I'm not. Well, I'm they cool. do collapse if they get wacky. Wow. Well, if you don't drive up on them. Or if you get too far, and then you're like, boom, you land on them. Mm -hmm. And now you got to check your car. Well, I think the secret is to check it and slide underneath. But, but they do it old school. They drive no, the trick ship. is to pay somebody else to do it. Yeah, well, that's, that's make enough money for other people. Yes. 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 Well, that's the key to life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, TC number eight on okay. fragrance and taste. Steve, where you at? Uh, I'm going to say that I like it, and I'm going to say I taste, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe when I find out what it is after the fact, I'll find out I'm wrong. But here I taste the berry note that I didn't taste on the last one that turned out to have yeah. been DJ Short. So, um, but you'll, you'll let me know how... What you think? Um, My palate's not really refined, too. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I liked it, though. I liked Especially it. with the. Uh, How much did you like it? I liked can it. You, <coughs> can you quantify your likeness? I liked it in. Uh, to put it in a number, I would say a point eight. Point eight. Sure. On fragrance and taste. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Smoothness. Smooth. I was able to go back <laughs> for a second little puff there and <coughs> didn't cough on either. Oh, shit. I didn't go, mm. you know, I apparently didn't. You didn't look like that. Yeah, I didn't do one of those. I think uh, I hit too hard, but I do hit that blurry. But yeah, but I have been. <coughs> Holy crap. Yeah, so uh, quite smooth. Full point. Full right. point. Um, Miggy. I have great experience. I'll give it a full point for the uh, clearing of the allergies. There you go. Yeah? Oh, yeah. What about the fragrance? When I see it like... And taste. When you, um... Favorites and taste are kind of the same thing, right? This is yeah, like kind of. Mm -hmm. They're all together. They're very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, very you're connected. Your palate. <coughs> Sorry, man. Mm. Fucking if I came out. No uh, but uh, <coughs> I think that's the other thing. My body's been trying to have that come out for a little bit. Go. This is helping that. And that's There's the one that caused it, the first one, where you're just like, oh, that hurts. Mm -hmm. Now these guys are like, hey, let's, let's get you finished up. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to give it like a point eight. There we go. Good right. right. What about uh, what about the overall? Oh, it's rating? point eight. One point eight. I mean, it's a good experience. Okay. Yeah, I would say I would say it's the same. Point eight. Um, maybe if I sessioned it for longer, sometimes as the cart continues to warm up, you deepen that you know connection. You know, yeah. Again, we're we're in a. We're in a, exposing ourselves to a bunch of different concentrates, and so what the what has the best chance of probably coming through comprehensibly is that initial palate hit of, yeah. of taste and, and aroma. Because uh, a, lot of, a lot of the rest is going to like be a cumulative effect of the of the mixed effects yeah, of everything absolutely. after that right now. So uh, <coughs> uh, point eight only because I wish I tasted even more of that berry. Mm. So. So I got spice and floral, mm -hmm. um, but it ended up being a cashew honey from Canasol. Hmm. K 
Pants All. Mm-hmm. That's so specific. Fair, I've certainly fairly, heard their name a few times. Fairly like big company. Yeah, yeah. Product yeah. here and there. Canisol, uh, Cashew Honey. So they were the second place overall winner of the Washington State Sun Growers Cup. Um, I don't get branding names, so Cashew Honey, I didn't get any of that. Yeah. Like, because it looks maybe? Because it, yeah. it likes the color and the, the, you know, the honey. We gave it a 63%. Yeah. All right, on to THC number nine. Holy uh, shit. <coughs> Good. This one, um, I will reserve comment until after you're done. Oh. Yeah. I've known I've known these guys since t- 2015. <coughs> um, are they uh, only recreational, or have they been medical? They've been medical. Yeah, they okay. they uh, sponsored the um, the Canatech meetup in Soto in Seattle. Oh, way, I know. It way is. back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. I love her. <laughs> And the thing is, you know, we're not just judging flour here. There's also the process. You know, there's there's multiple things involved when you get to this end product. <clears throat> like oilium, he doesn't have a grow. He just started off as the process, <coughs> as the extraction process. They have a phenomenal process. Yeah. yeah. Oilium is, is... Well, I met the guy four years ahead ago. Of the competition. Oh, man, dude, I met him in a bar. And uh, we were drinking, and I actually had a... With my old lady, she's like, go have fun or whatever. But then after that, she's texting me, like, why are you home yet? So I'm like... I gotta go home. We'll go home. He drives me home in his M3, cruising down a goddamn Rainier at fucking 90 miles an hour. Like, my ass is fucking drunk and everything. And so the guy's fucking brilliant. Just The, the difference with, with companies like that is that they're making crystals. Like, a couple of years ago, right? Yeah. THCA crystals. Whereas, I, I try to get um, CBG to bring for our podcast today. Yeah. I called five rec shops. They were trying to sell me CBN. They were trying to sell me, you know, CBD. Yeah. They didn't even know what CBG was. I mean, it's 2021. It's crazy that. But I think it, the marketplace decides. It right? was available for sale as a tincture a year and a half ago. Was and it? It's still not in the form of flower edibles yet. Like that's crazy that you're waiting for customers to come to you instead of being like Oleum that creates products that they think you're gonna want. Yeah. That's why I respect them and think they're ahead is because they think like Apple, whereas they'll, oh, they'll, yeah. they'll make something and be like, this is what they want. He gave me that goddamn, uh, uh, some crystalline in the beginning, like mm. years ago when they first started doing that, yeah. that white CB, or TCA. And uh, uh, it was like, I just sprinkled on all my bowls. Mm-hmm. It wasn't very special. Like, a, mm-hmm. like a, it wasn't mm. actually, I was expecting something. I got excited and it just wasn't there. Mm. Like, Different components of the cannabinoid system and how we all affect each other. It's like maybe I I'm just didn't need it. I don't know, or maybe like with someone else would get extra high. This is like the the ignorance that people. I guess by the time I got exposed to THCA, I probably almost exclusively dabbed it, you know. And I haven't had any in a while. I haven't bought any THCA in a while. Um, I had a few. I liked it. I had a few good experiences. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't you horrible. It, you sure, sure can get you. Yeah. So that's for sure. What about uh, fragrance and taste on this, you guys? <coughs> um, I don't know what I just tasted, but I liked it. I if mm. you put a gun to my head and asked me what I thought it was and said name name a strain, I might guess like a Gorilla Glue, mm. or I might guess mm. um, I don't know maybe a Durban or something. Uh, I don't know, but I liked it. It was zesty. <coughs> yeah, that was Fra- so fragrance fun. and taste zero to one. Where you at, Maggie? <coughs> I give it a one. It, was, right. it wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. I wouldn't again. It had an indica flavor. Um, I'm not specific to strains or whatever, but I'd be like, yeah, this is tastes like a, like this is gonna knock me out. Like, so full point. I'm gonna need some rest anyway. Yeah, as well. What about smoothness for you guys? You haven't coughed at all. You're not. Are you feeling feeling good? I mean, I'm trying not to absolutely shellac myself on yeah. these last few <laughs> puffs either but I'm trying to get a good enough uh, toke off of these that it's a legit toke and, and to feel it in my lungs uh, I so I'm getting lucky you know maybe my maybe my dab lungs are you know holding up versus the vape pens today but I, I can I can certainly <coughs> you know as we've talked about fuck up with the vape pen too where I just huff that baby a little too hard <laughs> and you know next thing you know I'm like holding on to the side of a building for a quick minute and, you know, trying not to cough up a lung. 
You know what's funny uh, is they, they taste so good for the beginning, and then you'll spend sixty bucks on it, and then you get used to it. Your endocannabinoid, whatever, you level out, and it doesn't get, hit you the same. Where you're like, it hits you hard in the beginning. Mm-hmm. You're like, that's so worth it. But then after you do it for so long, you're just like, shit. I have absolutely, experienced just, that with pen. Yeah. 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 Um, what yeah. about overall? Yeah, I would say I would give it a point eight for smoothness because I feel like it could have got me. Um, I felt it really strongly it did. in my it, nose. It, it, it hit me hard. You know, I tasted so. met- metal mm. and chemicals. I, I thought it was a botanical terps. Okay. And uh, okay. so I didn't I didn't score them very well overall. But what what are you guys where you at? Well, in the fact, they mentioned metals. You know, there's there is an after flavor. So I'm at the point eight. You know, I'm, I'm trying to keep my palate. I think I feel I feel like if I uh, if I could identify one flavor in this case it's a little bit of a of a terpene profile which is like that pine end of mm. things pinene right if, if if anything um but i like that so i liked it i'll give it a full yeah. point on that one I, I whatever that was was spicy so mm. I, I brought the score down quite a bit because of the metallic kind of mm. flavor so it's a 56 percent overall this is from lazy bee gardens their wedding cake mm. 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 yeah definitely uh uh, They've been around for a long time, so I was kind of disappointed in, mm. in my experience. I thought it was really harsh. I felt like this, what you know, mm-hmm. tastes like botanic turfs, just nasty in my throat. Mm. I wonder mm. if they do their own extraction or they outsource it too. I don't know. I mean, it's it a bad batch, from yeah. my opinion. Wow. Well, maybe I should have hit it a little bit harder. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to... Yeah, these were obviously different times. My spring. palate could just be succumbing to the... Well, I, did, I didn't hit this day. one. Oh, number nine, record. dude. <laughs> and to be honest with number, you, the, the hit is this, that, this baby's number ten, right? This is number Finally, ten. Oh, that's right, the T C D Yeah. All right. All right. When I just hit that lazy B, it wasn't nearly as bad, but my aftertaste is metallic on my tongue. Still. Yeah. No, I see what you're saying. Like I got a little in the back and rinse it out the water. Thanks for the refreshments, by the way, Steve. Hostess with right. the most. Yeah. Well. Got some quail eggs that were uh, pickled and uh, some. Uh, or herbs, appetizers. Bee- beehives off, you know, yeah. off to the right where the camera can't see, but we got quite the, the jungle back here. What a beautiful little You're spot. You're adding to the jungle, right. obviously, the zoo. Sasquatch. Yeah. All right, like fragrance and taste. Silverback Gorilla. For a I didn't swap 10. that for you. There you, it's all you good, bro. One. There you go. Uh, it is, for me, more subtle, less of a uh, obvious note. Uh, uh, of a standout uh, if I'm searching for flavor and taste I would say it's um, detectable that I'm vaping <coughs> that cart <coughs> um, yeah I would say maybe more like a uh, half point to point six on this one uh, for flavor and, mm. and aroma, taste and aroma. Okay. This is, oh, this is still THC. Mm-hmm. Mm. Number ten. Number ten. Yeah, no, it wasn't a good taste. It wasn't like. And it's really our eighth because one and two both totally failed, right? One, two, and five. Right. So we have three fails. Mm. So we've, we've. Yeah, you know, I'm going with. Tasted seven. Point five though. for flavor because I just don't mm. taste shit. Yeah. Yeah, huh. But I mean, the fact that it doesn't taste bad, I'll give it that point. Right. But. How about smoothness? Uh, I didn't cough. Um, I don't think I burned as well. There's the consistency, I don't think. Because I didn't get as much smoke as I did out of the other ones. But it's not clear. So, I mean, the sticker route, I can't see. But mm-hmm. You're not supposed to. It wasn't a good mm-hmm. burn. Oh, you're not supposed to see the... the red oh, line. The, yeah, because you're not supposed to see whether it's light color or dark color because that will change your perception. So, they're trying uh, to cover them. Oh, okay. That's why uh, appearance isn't one of the... Mm. Fair. Fair. But, uh... So, uh, the only reason why I think that's important is just so you can tell us how much the each one burns different, you know, heat. Mm-hmm. So that would be good to know. Like, the more the more liquid he's going to have, more smoke. If that's a thicker sauce one, it's not going to burn as well. You're going to hit it longer because I didn't get a lot of smoke. Mm-hmm. I didn't, not unless the battery might be dying. But, is that a full point? No, I'm going to have to give it a half point oh, for everything. Whoa, I wonder if the battery is dying. Or it could be the dying battery. Pretty serious session. For one of these little batteries. Yeah, uh, yeah. Total of like goddamn, almost 
Uh, so is that a full point for smoothness? I have to go half point just for the experience. I had no flavor, but it could be the, the dead battery. Like the little bit of smoke I got out of it was just not. We got some vapor each of us, but it wasn't much. Yeah, so I think that couldn't taste might be anything. Couldn't giving up on us on pour number ten. Boy. Well, let's see if uh, the CBD works. Uh, but first, mm -hmm. Steve, smoothness. What's your uh, score i didn't i didn't cough either um i'll give him a full point on some in this and then overall on that last one i'm saying half a point just because of the lack of smoke um, like, could have been the cartridge could have been the battery but we'll, we'll see now if yeah. this is the battery or not because 45 percent for lazy bee gardens tesla mm. tower it's a high terpene extract it's supposed to be I tasted a little bit of berry, but I wasn't impressed. Yeah, I don't taste anything at all because your high TP extract, you should be heavy in something. Yeah. But look at all the smoke he's getting. It must have been a cartridge. Uh -huh. I, I just think it shit. Yeah, it's not the battery. That was the cartridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right right here. The CBD's going to straighten it out. Mm. Make it so I can go to the, get my oil change. Um, hmm. Getting me in the nose again. But, of course, I, I puffed it a little bit more freely. Uh, whoo because I was trying to make sure we got that thing heated up if oh, it still right. had the juice but it did um, and uh, it's good flavor I think um, again a little bit lemony oh yeah a little bit peppery uh, whew, yeah full point on flavor and, and aroma oh yeah um, it's fairly, fairly uh, bright and fairly lemony to me. I don't know. I liked it. It was very, um, Ooh. you know, the, the terpenes had the. Uh, <coughs> I'll say earthy, but it was yummy. Uh, full point. Good, good smoke, good burn. What about smoothness? Yeah, smooth. Full point good experience. Yeah, I mean, while it got me in the in the nose really strongly, um, and uh, do you mind if I uh, see that one more time? I still got uh, the Hit en that. energy to. We smoked a lot of goddamn weed. Goodness <laughs> gracious, you guys! <laughs> yeah, partake responsibly, everybody. We we know anybody watching this is probably responsible, though. But what is responsible? That's uh, I mean, it's it's be cool, right? Just being cool. Just just be don't good. be a dick. Yeah, totally. Like, People are going to be like, oh, well, you're a dick because of the cannabis. No, you're just a dick because you're a dick. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. Well, you don't make you do anything extra. Miggy, overall, what are you going to give that uh, CBD? I get a point. I would smoke that. I would take it out in town. I, I tasted, Full point. I tasted a little berries, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I gave them uh, two-thirds of a point overall. 62% is what we gave Puffin Farms, their Remedy mm. CBD. That was pretty good. The ones that didn't work, so this one, THC1, is from High Yield. Okay. I mean, excuse me, Yield Farm. Yield Farm had that white apricot sherbet, oh. which sounded delicious. Oh. Yeah. I wish it, you know, we could have tasted it. I tasted yeah. diesel. I thought it was a mild scent and flavor, but the effects were decent mm. with the creative chill vibe that wore off quick. The other ones that didn't work, THC2, I tasted pineapple. Uh, there was a waxy film on my tongue with a lingering taste that wasn't great. Uh, I had a chill high. Um, this is Panna Organics Golden Ticket oh. that did not work. And then the other one that didn't work, um, and let's see, number five, THC5 was Puffin Farms. It's a strawberry cough. Um, and I said this is edgy. And it was similar to Green Crack. THC5 kind of gave me like a little bit of an edge. Um, so yeah, three of them didn't work, but uh, that is it. So again, first place winner for the Washington State Sun Growers Cup was Puffin Farms Dutch Treat, followed by second place Can of Souls um, Cashew Honey, or Cashew's Honey. <laughs> and then uh, number three was Acme Diesel's DJ Short. So. so for the Sun Growers Association? Washington State Sun Growers Cup. Okay. I mean, I just kind of have like little, like, faith in cups. I think this is the best way to get a good, and it actually kind of nailed, right? But like, there's so many other players too. Do you know, how, yeah. how was it made? Was it a pay to play or was it a, 
Uh, um, I don't know if the people had to submit it for money, probably, because there, you know, it takes a lot to get it to people like me. Like it, they had to hand deliver because they're not going to mail it. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah but, I just, but I don't know. I, mean, I know it's got to be like. There's I mean, I can see that being okay. You know, are you willing to put yourself out there in a competition, and do you want to pay your entry fee to? For the know, be a part of the contest, yeah. and then you may or may not, you know, uh, rank well against uh, the competitors who you end up competing against that time around. But yeah. that's, it's a way to test yourself. To yeah, yeah, you are generally. Mm. But I've just found like if you want to speak or whatever, it's you're a media partner, so you have to pay to play. So it's no, it makes sense. It's just, it's it is a, what it is. I want to have an event, you know, like that's the thing. I want to have uh, people give me a bunch of weed so we can sit like this and actually have our own little mm-hmm. call it good. Like do the rating system with, uh, you know, many thing. You know the uh, like uh, the original High Times Cup. You know, uh, uh, back then they tried to, you know, it was pay to play, but also High Times sponsored and, and you know was doing a good thing helping out a lot of people then it became the shit is out here you know they you see all their virtual cbd cup and all, i mean they're doing everything for high high times is like that's what they got now they're a fucking event or hosting place it's not a it's sad it just mm-hmm. so just that's why you get a bad taste for events is like mm-hmm. the the high time shit whereas this is legit like that was so like even our ratings of three of us we came pretty close to like the overall no or how did we rate like what was our top uh so Looks like um, the top score that we had was a 67%, which was the first place. And um, y- yeah, and then second place was 63%, and third place was 60 So we scored that exactly. That's Neat. crazy. Neat. Oh, wow. That's pretty bizarre. Wow. Science, yeah, bitches! We did it. <laughs> We're gonna roll this one out. Mickey's gotta get an oil change. That's so, Mickey four twenty with cannabis legalization news. Where can they find you at? Uh, CannabisLegalizationNews dot com, YouTube channel, and uh, podcasts is everywhere. Type shit. Steve Kaminsky, Baked and Awake, man. What's some links? Bakedandawake dot com, and uh, you can find the Baked and Awake podcast on YouTube as well on the Baked and Awake YouTube channel. Perfect. And I'm Josh Kincaid, uh, Talking Hedge Podcast dot com, or uh, anywhere that you have your podcast. So, with that, we're gonna roll this one up. Uh, peace. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got.